Ewing sarcoma, a rare bone cancer. Ewing sarcoma is a type of cancer that forms in bone or soft tissue. Cancer defines a group of diseases in which some of the body's cells grow uncontrollably. Cancer can start in almost any organ or tissue of the body and invade or spread to other organs. A sarcoma is a type of cancer that arises from transformed cells of mesenchymal origin. Transformed cells are defined as cancerous cells. Mesenchyme is a type of connective tissue that give rise to all other connective tissues like skin, blood, and bone. There are four basic types of tissues in our body. They are connective tissue, epithelial tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. In 1920, Ewing sarcoma was discovered and described as a type of cancer by James Stephen Ewing. Hence it was given the name Ewing sarcoma. James Stephen Ewing was an American pathologist. Pathology is a branch of medical science. It is the study and diagnosis of disease through the examination of surgically removed organs, tissues, bodily fluids and in some cases the whole body. Pathologist is the person who accomplishes the above process. The exact cause of Ewing sarcoma is not clear till date. However, it has been found out that chromosomal changes in DNA are the beginning for the formation of Ewing sarcoma, but these changes are not inherited. They can appear in a person randomly without any reason. The symptoms of Ewing sarcoma are fever, fatigue, weight loss, decreased appetite and numbness. Pain and swelling around the tumor. Paralysis if the tumor is in the spinal region. To treat any cancer, the stage or extent of the cancer must be identified. That is, to what extent the cancer has grown or spread in the body. The formal staging systems for cancer is the American Joint Committee on Cancer AJCC, staging system. The AJCC staging system for bone cancer is based on four key information. T, N, M, and G. T describes the size of the main tumor and whether it appears in different areas of the bone. N describes the spread to nearby lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small bean-sized collections of immune system cells. However, bone tumors rarely spread to the lymph nodes. M indicates whether the cancer has spread to other organs of the body. G stands for the grade of the tumor or how the cancer cells look like in the lab test. Low-grade tumor cells look more like normal cells and are less likely to grow and spread quickly, while high-grade tumor cells look more abnormal and spread more quickly. All Ewing tumors are considered to be high-grade tumors. Once the T, N, M and G categories are determined, the information is combined and expressed as an overall stage by using Roman numerals, 1 to 4, and are sometimes further divided within. The various diagnosis procedure for Ewing sarcoma is magnetic resonance imaging MRI, computed tomography scan CT scan, positron emission tomography computed tomography scan PET CT scan bone scan or bone scintigraphy, x-ray, complete blood count test CBC test. Biopsy of two types is done, namely, incisional biopsy, where a sample of tissue is removed through an incision in the skin. Needle biopsy, where a sample of tissue is removed using a needle. 
Biopsy is the procedure of collecting samples of cell or tissues from the body, in order to examine the presence and extent of disease in the body. Tests done after collecting biopsy samples are Cytogenetic analysis Immunohistochemistry test ICH test Flow cytometry and reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction test RT-PCR test Treatment for Ewing sarcoma include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, surgery, and high-dose chemotherapy with stem cell rescue. Ewing sarcoma is most commonly found among children and teenagers, but it can affect people of any age group. Statistics show that about 200 people which include children, teens and adults are diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma in the United States each year. Elena Huelva Palomo was a Spanish cancer activist, influencer, and writer, born in 2002. She was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma on 2019, at her age of 16. And she passed away on January 2023. Since 2019, she collaborated with multiple cancer-related non-profit organizations, and in 2022, she wrote the book named, My Will Wins, Nobody Has Promised Us a Tomorrow, Live in the Present, where she shared her cancer experience. On March 2022, she was awarded the Premio Bormujeres in the field of youth and communication, conferred by the City Council of Bormujos. And in October of the same year, she received the Hope Award from Elle magazine.